In this video, I'm going to share with you a simple step-by-step -step guide on how to build a standard placenta pit from start to finish. This mode of constructing a placenta pit is better because we use locally available raw materials, the placenta pit can be repaired easily, the technique is simple and easy to apply, it has low operating costs and low capital costs. And by the end of this video, you will have learned how to do this simply and easily by yourself, so be sure to stick around till the end of the video. Let's first clearly understand what a placenta pit means. So this is the placenta pit. After a mother gives birth or delivers, all what remains as waste is put into this ditch or pit. 90% of this waste is always liquid so it will soak away into the ground. The rest will decompose biologically. Do not treat this waste with chemical disinfectants, for example chlorine because the chemicals will destroy microorganisms that are important for biological decomposition. The placenta pit will also have a low cable cover and also a vent pipe to ensure that the generated gases can escape and also fresh air can get in. Let's look at how to construct a placenta pit. The first step during the process of constructing a placenta pit is to do site clearance and set out for the pit. The pit should be set out within the healthcare premises to make it easy for waste disposal. It should be far away from publicly accessible areas and far away from hygienically critical areas, for example waterways, kitchens, among others. It should be a waste disposal zone dedicated area. The second step is to excavate the pit. Excavate the pit considering the number of placentas per day. For example, if your healthcare has an average of two deliveries per day, the diameter of this pit will be at least one meter in diameter and depth as 1.5 meters. I have prepared a table for different deliveries and as you can see from this table, a facility that has an average of six deliveries a day will have a pit that is of minimum diameter one meter and depth 3.5 meters. For nine deliveries, diameter will be at least one meter and depth 4.5 meters. For 11 deliveries, minimum diameter will be one meter and depth 5.5 meters among others. The third step is to raise the walls. Cast a 100 mm thick circular concrete blinding only around the area where the bricks will be sitting and then raise the walls. Use either well burnt clay bricks or concrete blocks of minimum wall thickness 230 mm and plaster the walls properly. Do not cast any concrete at the bottom and also in case the sand falls here during the process of construction or any other concrete or debris, be sure to remove thoroughly well after all work is done because we want the sewage to soak into the ground. Plaster properly with a steel float finish and also apply waterproofing paint, powder or any other approved. Also do backfilling to the sides of these walls. Step 4 is to cast concrete for the beam around the wall. Do shattering using plywood like this one or any other formwork that is able to be bent in a circular form. Use steel bars of white 12 with rings of R8. Ring spacing at 150mm center to center with beam thickness as 200mm. We will cast concrete of grade 20 that is of mix ratio 1 to 2 to 4 that is 1 part of cement, 2 parts of sand and 4 parts of aggregates. The fifth step is to build the foundation for the brick wall fence around the placenta pit. So this is a placenta pit here in the middle. We build a brick wall around the placenta pit. So in this fifth step, the foundation for this wall will be on the same level as this ground beam. The sixth step is to cast concrete for the top slab. Lay this lower DPM all around the walls and cast concrete. We cast concrete all around this area and leave space for this opening which we will use to drop the waste into the pit. Also leave a small space for the vent pipe which will be used for gaseous exchange. The concrete will be of 100 mm thick and of mix ratio 1 to 2 to 4, that is 1 part of cement, 2 parts of sand and 4 parts of aggregates. The seventh step is to raise the boundary walls for the placenta pit. Lay this second DPC here, meaning there will be two DPCs. One will be below here and this one on top of the casted concrete. Raise the walls to a height of 2.1 meters and of thickness 150 millimeters. Remember to reinforce the walls with hoop iron after every three courses. The eighth step is to build a splash apron or veranda around the boundary wall area. 
plaster this inside part and apply waterproofing paint, powder or any other liquid, then build a splash apron or veranda around this wall. The ninth step is to render or plaster the walls properly so as to have a steel float finish. The mortar mix for rendering will be 1 to 3 that is 1 part of cement and 3 parts of sand. The tenth step is to install a wall coping to protect this wall from unfavorable weather conditions. Do flooring which will just be a simple mortar mix of 1 to 3 that is 1 part of cement and 3 parts of sand. It will be sloping towards the door entrance, therefore all rain or storm water will be flowing easily to exit through this door frame. Also spread rough cast all around the external side of the wall to protect the wall against unfavorable weather conditions to have something looking like this. Also make a scatting both inside and outside the placenta pit boundary wall to prevent rain water from bouncing back and affecting the wall. The scatting will be of around 100 mm high. The 11th step is to install the door frame plus this metallic lock cover on top of the pit. Also install a 3 mm diameter vent pipe with this kind of cover on top of it. Also raise this vent pipe to a height above the wall height, let's say to a height of 2.5 meters. Do smart door finishes and also ensure that these frames are firm. The twelfth step is to do painting. Do painting according to the structural engineer's color details. Paint only using weather guard or weather shield paint for both inside surface and external surface of the boundary wall. You will first paint two coats of undercoat and also at least two coats of weather guard paint. And this is our final product. In summary, according to what we have on the drawing, that is exactly what we have on the ground, our placenta pit is 2 meters deep and 2 meters wide. 230 millimeters wall thickness, 200 millimeters thick beam, 100 millimeters thick slab, approved Lockable cover hinged the metal frame that is fixed in the slab, 2.1 meters high boundary wall, 50 millimeters coping. Along the length, the internal distance is 4 meters 650 millimeters. Along the width, internal distance is 3 meters. Rough cast on the walls. I hope you have learned how to build a placenta pit. That's the end of our today's video. I hope you get something from it. Be sure to watch this video on the left or this video on the right all about public health engineering. Thank you so much for watching.